Well, hello and welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. I am so excited about my first guest today. I'm just going to go right in. Dr. Kathy Humphrey is the newly uh, now, newly, I guess new, 11th president of Carlo University. She's our guest. She's not new to Pittsburgh, but she's new to Carlo. Welcome. Congratulations. This is awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you for having me. So tell me about this new role. I mean, you, uh, you spent, uh, I, I want to say, I looked this up today. You were at Pitt from 2005 up until recently. Right. Um, so the university world isn't new to you, but Carlo is. Yes. Very, very new to me. Very different. Uh, I, I loved and had an amazing experience at, at Pitt. But, well, I've been in higher education for over 35 years. I was okay. at Pitt for, for 16 of those years. So a large portion of my career was there. But, you know, when I got the call to come to Carlo, the first thing I did, Lynn, was I, I, I looked into seeing, you know, what, do, what, what are they trying to accomplish? Mm -hmm, What's mm -hmm. their mission? What's their goals? And, you know, when I learned that they were really, uh, really uh, committed to helping young people gain social mobility, mm -hmm. uh, when I learned that 44% of the students were Pell eligible, wow. uh, when I learned that 26% of the students were students of color, uh, I thought, this is work that I have to do. Yeah, and that's how I really ended up there. This is a a, a mission centered, faith based uh, uh, institution that's committed to making students career ready to give them an excellent education. And I am really pleased with the with what I already see about the quality of the experience mm -hmm. and the care that the faculty take. Uh, it. It's just it warms your heart wow. uh, when you see it every single day, right? Of what what we what we have the possibility. You know, when when you make a difference, when you work with students at some universities, you make a difference in their lives. You feel mm -hmm. really good about that. The difference for me at Carlo is when you make a difference in a student who's Pell eligible. Mm -hmm. You you don't just make a difference in their lives. You make a difference. For generations. Absolutely. And I know because I was Pell eligible. Mm. And I know that the life that my children live today is dramatically different from the life that I, I, I lived. So the impact uh, and the possibility of making that kind of difference uh, just lured me right to Carlo. So here's one of the things that struck me when I first heard about this, because of course I grew up in Pittsburgh. So I've always known Carlo. My grandmother lived right around the corner from the campus growing up. So we would walk past there. So I knew when Carlo was a small women's college, mm -hmm. but because it was a small women's college, I knew that women were getting empowered mm -hmm. inside those walls. And then Carlo grew and then it became a university and then men were allowed to go to Carlo. And then all of a sudden there is a woman of color sitting in that seat. So when I put all that together, I was over the moon <laughs> at the message that that sends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I will tell you, you know, when you're in the process of, of, of a presidential search, mm -hmm. you, it, you are doing so much work to make sure you understand the institution, to make sure that you authentically can lead that institution. Uh, you know, one of the things that Pat Gallagher said to me, the chancellor of Pitt, he said, you know, Kathy, if you apply, you gotta be all in or don't, or don't apply. And wow. so I made that decision that I was going all in or I wasn't going to be a part of it. And, you know, Lynn, I, I will be quite honest with you. Initially, I really didn't think about the whole notion of, you know, I will be the first African American woman to ever be the president of Carlo. Really, what I, I that didn't cross my it should have crossed my mind, but it didn't cross my mind. What I kept thinking was, I am going here to make a difference in people's lives mm -hmm. in a very different way. You know, and that 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 was uh, that was at the forefront. Once I became the president and I started getting letters from African American women and African American girls. It dawned on me that 
look, this is this is bigger than I this thought. Is big. <laughs> yeah, this is big. <laughs> and and I've got to do an amazing job here because there's a lot of women and girls uh, depending on me, uh, not only to make a difference in their lives, but make a different pathway even for them by this work. And you know, in my mind, if and I'm sure you've been through this, Lynn. You know, if I, if if me being the first one and I can blaze a trail and make a difference for people who who look like me mm -hmm. i'm thrilled to, i'm thrilled to be of service well here's the thing that i've always loved about you is that you set the bar high for dr humphrey and because you set the bar the bar high for you we rise because oh. of you and oh. that's what i've always appreciated about you yeah, you know, and, and it's so, you know, it's so amazing to me because you don't really think about it when you're doing it. You, ju mm -hmm. you just, you just get in motion, you know, and start doing it, you know, as you know, I've been at Carlo, I haven't, I haven't been at Carlo, uh, maybe two months now. Okay. And, uh, uh, I have, uh, while being there, you know, uh, there are certain things that I say to them, these are things we have to do. Like, like <laughs> this is not a negotiable. This is, these are things that must be, that must be done. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to really drive home uh, the mission of this institution because that's why I came down the street, right? right. That, uh, is to, to really do this kind of work. And so uh, it's funny that you're saying that because most of the people who have worked with me are always saying, okay, well, now you know, Kathy's going to expect us to be here, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I always say to them, Lynn, is I always say, you know what? I set the bar here because if we get here, it is a whole lot better than here, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I have learned over time with my own life, if you don't reach for it, you're not going. Wow. And, and I always say this, you know, we have people's lives in our hands, Mm -hmm. I've, got, I've got somebody's life in my hand. Right. And, and, and I got to go for the gusto with that. I've got to do everything I think I can as fast as I can, which is something that uh, uh, oftentimes, uh, you know, people don't think about, uh-oh, my dog got in. That's uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, that, that we're used to this pandemic life. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, it's my dog got don't, in. don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's like, okay, I knew she was going to make it. But, but you know, that that's that's the piece for me that really engages me is that because these young people, because these adults, and we, we have a lot of adult learners at Carlo. Oh, yeah. A lot of adult learners. Women who are coming back, men who are coming back, retooling. Mm -hmm. uh, because these people are in our hands, we, we, we've, we've got to do everything we can to make sure they reach their own goals. Their own goals. Mm -hmm. So much more to talk to you about. We're going to take a commercial break. Break. We'll be right back. Dr. Kathy Humphrey is my guest today. I know you're already glad you tuned in. We'll be right back. <laughs> 